okay so and again the other important part is your reporting okay so again in workday we have a very very critical part of functionality which is reporting which is again easy at the same time it's a bit complex now you all know like reporting is something like uh, let's say in any product you go you go to sap you go to oracle you come to workday or anywhere if you as a consultant go and configure your client is not bothered about what you have configured in the system but if your client have ran a report if the data is coming correctly in that particular report that means the data that you have configured is correct so that is one kind of an perception that always your clients have so you your clients will not go and check location by location if they have 300 locations they are not going to check all 300 locations in their tenant they are just going to say that okay dana just give me a report which i where i can see all the locations which are there in my work day so i can just create a report and i give it to them they run the report and see they check they validate everything in a report so reports are very very important and it is not it is important for everybody whether it is an kind of an functional people or integration people anybody because it's always that you can check the data quickly and then your client will always going to be depending on the reports and let me tell you for a medium type of an workday implementation you will have around 200 to 250 reports created if it is a big implementation for example if it is something like g implementation or kind of an uh, amazon implementation they have almost like 400 plus reports that many reports because these companies are there in multiple countries and for country specific their hr uh, people in each and every country might have different requirements right so depending on that you have to go and create reports but here in workday uh, we have different types of reports example simple advanced matrix transpose trending and box so we have different types but we are going to cover simple advanced and matrix reports which again uh, advanced and matrix are widely used in the real time simple is for our purpose not for client purpose but advanced is completely 90% for client purpose so which we are going to see how we can create a report custom uh, report and there are also standard reports given by workday so here logically if at all you are kind of an uh, smart consultant so if at all you have client have given any requirements you will not sit and start creating everything from the scratch because workday have also given something like standard reports which are workday reports you can take those particular standard reports as a reference you can copy those reports you cannot edit any standard reports but you can copy the reports and then you can transform to custom report and there you can do some kind of an adjustments and then you can give it to the client so that's where we will try to understand how we can do all those things in these kind of an classes and then we have something like workday calculated fields workday calculated fields is something like a uh, workday have given many standard fields there are some 100000s of fields given by workday but let's say if your client have asked for a particular field which is not given by workday then you have to create a field that field is nothing but your calculated field and then for calculating for creating a calculated field you have multiple functions that you can always go and use so what are those functions how those functions can be useful we will always see in terms of reporting okay so that's what i want to cover in reports